Christmas dinner in a tin. Is that a joke? No, this is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas dinner by game. They're going to be rolling it out for the whole of the UK. But I've managed to get hold of a tin. And today I'm going to be reviewing this tin of Christmas dinner. Now it's got nine layers, nine layers. Scrambled egg and bacon for breakfast. Then you go on to a couple of mince pies, uh, turkey and uh, potato. Then the next layer is gravy. Then you've got bread sauce, you've got cranberry sauce, broccoli and stuffing, or um, sprouts and stuffing. But I've got broccoli and stuffing because I'm not too keen on the old sprouts. You know what I mean? Know what I mean? Uh, anyway, we've got uh, next to the lab, we've got carrots and parsnips, roasted carrots and parsnips, that is. And to finish off with, at the bottom of the tin, we have got Christmas pudding. Now, Right, let's get going. Now, mm, it's a full tin. Completely full tin there. Right, now, what I presume you do while you're on the old game, by playing, you know, playing the old station, playing, you know, the Xbox and the GTA, all your GTA 5, San Andreas, that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, I suppose you're supposed to take it from the tin, but for the purpose of this review, I'm going to empty the tin out and see what we got, um, because otherwise you're not going to seal the land. So if I can get it out in one, I will. I don't know if it'll come out in one. It's moving. Yeah, here it comes. Come on, come on. Nearly, almost in one. Oh, there we are. Right, so here we have it. Ooh. And, um, Mmm. Some lovely smells coming off of this. Mm. Cram, you got, oh, we got this lovely, uh, rich sherry cranberry sauce. Right, we're going to start on the first layer, which is scrambled egg and bacon. So I'm just presuming I've just woken up on Christmas morning and I'm going to start on the, start on the old. Um, Bit on the sweet side, mm. but um, that is definitely scrambled egg and mm. tastes like a little bit of bacon, quite smoky. That, mm. well, I'll tell you what, for the, for the first layer, that is, I would, I would not moan at that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't complain at that at all. Mm. Mm. I'll tell you what, that is, that is good, that is good. Right, let's start on the next layer. The next layer is mince pie. Right, let's go. It's a bit... It's, there's not much of mince pie here, I don't think, because then you... Yeah. But let's have a taste. Mince pie. Mmm. Now, that is good. That is good, definitely. Mmm. Oh, lovely. Oh, mmm. Nice. Oh, it's beautiful. There's not... Oh, there's another bit there. It's not a bit of turkey mixed in with that bit. Mmm! Um, oh. That is... That is... Um, well, whoever thought, thought about this idea, that's brilliant. This is brilliant. They should do this, um, they should do this, uh, not just for Christmas, for any, any, any kind of occasion, right. Um, let's go on the next layer, which is turkey and potato. Right, that's the turkey and the potato. 
Oh, you've got a bit of pastry there as well. From the mince pie. Yeah. Pastry's um, a bit soggy. This tastes a bit turkey. Mmm. Real turkey, that is. Mmm. Not. Real turkey. Very, very good. Mmm. Oh. It's a bit of cranberry sauce. Oh, lovely. Mm. A bit of pastry there as well. So we've got... There is a little bit of gravy in there. I can see a little bit of gravy. I don't know where the bread sauce is though. The cranberry sauce is definitely there. And then we got the broccoli and stuffing, which is this green stuff. Christ, that's good. Well, somebody, someone somewhere certainly got their head screwed on because the flavours I'm getting from this, it's amazing. Cool. The broccoli, um, that broccoli is um, very tasty. It's not, it's not over the top, you know. Uh, there's, there's not a lot of seasoning in it, but of course you can add your own salt and pepper. But that's just right for me. And let's try some of this carrot now, carrot and parsnip. What's that like? A bit on the watery side. It's like, but very nice flavour. Bit on the watery side, I don't know why that is. Mmm. Current parsnip, lovely. That that is quite lovely. Mmm. Let's have some more of this um bit of pastry. I don't know if that's a bread sauce or pastry, I don't know. I bet there's a bread sauce, that, that's that's nice that is. Right. What's left is um, quite a generous portion of Christmas pudding there. I would say it's quite, I don't know why they give you that much. It's, um, yeah, it's quite a good portion. Eh? Let's do that. Let's, let's tuck into this. and uh... mm. Mm. Oh, cool. That is... That is the talk about saving the best till last. That is gorgeous. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow, wait. Mmm. Ah. Mmm. 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 I would say it's the best thing since sliced bread. Forget, forget about the gamers. I want to have it all the time. This is wonderful. I'd recommend two tins. Yeah. Perhaps, um, if you're listening, game, uh, I would make a, a larger tin because this this is not enough for one person. It's probably enough for one small child. Christmas tinner, ten out of ten. Mm, lovely. Try a bit for after. Um, yeah. It's a thumbs up from me. It's the only way forward. And there's no washing up. Because don't forget, this is just for review purposes, that plate. Really, you'd be eating it from the tin. Stevie Jacko recommends Christmas dinner in a tinner.